Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be doing a my story on the first time that I went to Ireland, uh, which is uh, to Dublin. So let's jump right into it. Um, I went on um, a family coach holiday um, when I was at 17 with my brother and um, mum and dad and um, we went um, on a coach um, holiday um, and um, we stopped um, at um, the longest place um, in Wales and uh, before we went to Holyhead and a four, ha a four hour just say <laughs> Um, ferry trip to the port of Dublin. Um, then we went through Dublin city um, to get to the North Star Hotel, which is um, at a three star hotel um, near a Dublin train station. Um, um, again, it was a very nice hotel, um, a lovely room, tea, coffee, making facilities, um, um, again, a lovely bed, um, but it, the rooms were, you know, adequately sized, um, everything, uh, from, what, um, from what I can remember. Um, the breakfasts were nice um, in the hotel and um, for the occasions um, we had um, a meal like in like the pub restaurant type thing and it was very nice and um, you could also get some more um, executive rooms if you wanted to pay a bit extra in the, the hotel and um, they were available um, but um, yes, also we did stop at a, a service station around at Sheffield, uh, uh, sorry, Chester, um, Cheshire, um, before we get to Highhead um, and the place with the longest name, uh, which is again a Stopping over point, the place with the longest name in Am Anglesey. Because um, I've explained um, in the um, Welsh video, North Wales video, um, there's um, like um, a department shop that stall shop thing uh, where you can buy souvenirs um, and all sorts of uh, things and um, there's also um, a cafe to it as well um, or cafes like up and downstairs which is um, excellent as well and again it's near a uh, right next to the train station and um, so yeah Um, it's a good place to stop off, um, I would say, um, for um, an hour or so. Um, so, yes, um, moving on to Do uh, Dublin itself. Um, the first day uh, we were there, from what I can remember, we visited the castle and the gardens um, and uh, parks uh, which were, uh, were lovely and beautiful to see and um, the second day um, we did some like sh uh, shopping looking at the town centres and um, the third day um, we went actually on the coach 
tour to um, Arklow and Whitlow and we've seen all the beautiful Whitlow Mountains um, which uh, were fantastic and we um, stopped, stopped um, at this like pottery um, shop and place um, which was amazing to see um, and um, on the fourth day uh, from what I uh, we went to um, La Trinity College and seen that um, and uh, we went to the Viking Museum which was absolutely excellent I really recommend it um, it was just fabulous all the actors were amazing and um, again it was really enjoyable <laughs> um, I, c I couldn't recommend it enough um, as an educational um, place and um, also um, if it's raining then it's somewhere for you to go indoors and um, again shopping's really good um, in Dublin um, again um, in Dublin there's lots of nightlife um, cafes restaurants to choose from lots of eating places um, for a range of budgets um, so yes and um, there's also other accommodation apart from hotels um, to suit all budgets like an um, Airbnbs, B&Bs, hostels um, or there's more luxurious hotels um, especially in the city centre um, again, um, lots of bars and nightclubs to choose from. Um, again, the famous Temple Bar area um, is um, again a must to, uh, to see at night as well. So, yes, um, I really recommend it. It did rain a bit, I think, like on and off because we went like September, end of September, October time but um, again what, what can you expect again it's um, a good country to visit um, if you don't want, like um, a country that's too hot for instance um, again it may have warm days in the summer but again it's not anywhere like um hot um say like india or somewhere like that um but yes it it is a um a very nice place to visit and i would definitely recommend it um, so, um, on the fifth day we went back, um, we went uh, back for, uh, from the port to um, the ferry and um, can also fly to Dublin as well which again it takes less time and um, if you wanted to fly um, you can get a low cost airline. Um, Again, the transport system seems good in Dublin. Um, there's a station and like buses going to different places and get a taxi um, as well. So, yes. Again, um, it's uh, not a cheap city really to go and visit um, but generally cities are not cheap to go and vi visit <laughs> um, but um, again it is definitely worth it I would definitely say um, 
so I would I would definitely um, go, uh, go again and well I did go again and stay just outside Dublin in the Liffey Hotel and that was um, a four star hotel and that was sp absolutely spectacular um, so yeah Um, as for the ferry, um, again, there's lots to do. You can have um, obviously a meal on the ferry. Um, there's also uh, like um, a games place, arcade place, uh, where you can um, if you're into games and like um, slot machine machines uh, you could go, uh, go in there obviously there's toilets on the ferry as well uh, again uh, you can do some shopping um, on the ferry um, so yes it's um, again all good um, and there's places like um, a bar um, where you can relax and obviously if you wanted to go outside of the ferry then you can do as well um, so it's, um, it's again all good from that front and um, you just need to remember what debt number you're on really and um, again um, you could go by car or motorbike um, because obviously um, ferries t uh, take that cruise as well so all you need to do is just run what that number you want really um, there's um, also the passport thing as well that um, I've seen um, Dublin's the Republic of Ireland so you need a passport um, if you're probably not a UK national then you may need a visa as well and um, it really just depends um, depends on the countries um, or where you're from in the world and um, entry requirements so um, thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in my next video which is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be a hot or not video on Landudno uh, which is um, North Wales so uh, please keep watching I love you all uh, you all fan fantastic and um, basically I'll see you in my next travel video so bye for now